All right, it's been in the water for about three days. You can see all the rust this thing has created. I don't know if this is the anode or the cathode, I don't know whatever the heck the terminology is, but this is the sacrificial piece of metal here. Totally did its job. Sorry about my parrots screaming in the background because they see me outside on the porch. There's like a thick layer of rust, dust on the bottom, sediment. And with the exception of a couple small areas, and that trigger guard right there is not touching that metal, it's just underneath. But with the exception of some really small areas and right here on the barrel, pretty much the process is complete. Uh, I'm gonna remove this out of the water now. Now it's been here about three days and uh, show you the next process. Here's what next it looks step. like now that it's been sitting in there for two to three days. You can see uh, rust will start on this barrel almost instantly. So once you're done with this you should either spray it with some WD-40 or put some kind of oil on it so it doesn't start rusting. Um, looks like some of the rust is still there on the barrel so that's going to go on for another day. You can see all the rust inside the letters of Springfield. Now a lot of this is just rust that's kind of collected in there that'll just be knocked out with a toothbrush. It's not actually bonded to the barrel anymore. It looks about a million times better than it did before but I know it could be removed one step further. So, what I'm gonna do, and all I did was just dry these with the towel, you know? So, uh, if I use a little wire brush or a brass brush, this brush would just come right off the surface. Uh, some of it is just kind of stuck to it, just like all the little rust in between the grooves here, the knurled knob. That rust is just white. So, right here's the brass brush. You can see how it really has, and it's super smooth. You can see how it's really taken off all of the rust. There's still rust in there. It looks like rust. That's just on the surface, and it just needs to be scrubbed out which I'll do with a shotgun uh, barrel cleaner so just showing you the process I have brass so it looks a little gold tinge to it but it's all going to be sanded down uh, so that it all looks like this like stainless steel like bright metal so right now I'm just trying to take off the surface coat of all the rust and this is pretty much the process you can go in circles or spirals or whatever it shouldn't really put too many flaws in the metal but if you go kind of with the grain, so to speak, of the metal, um, you're going to have less sanding to do in the end. So, right now, this is the process. And I may get it back in the vat overnight one more time. But so far, it really is working well and it's super duper soft. Looking inside the barrel, you might be a little surprised. You can actually see rifling in there now, which before you could not. I run, I ran a bore patch through it. And it's still pretty cruddy, but what it was is it was so gummed up with the rust. What I decided to do was uh, scrub it really well and get some of that rust out. And then I went and scrubbed the crap out of it inside because I'm pretty sure that was all filled with lead. So, yeah, now you can actually see the rifling in the barrel, so that's pretty slick. And the barrel is, once all that rust is gone, is in really great shape. So, I just assembled all the metal parts here, scrubbed them all, except for the screws, which I'll probably end up replacing anyway. 
And what I found is under this, because this was still the ramp for the sight, which is on the top of the gun, on the very bottom, there still is a little bit of rust in there. In the pitting. So, stuff like this, I'm going to assemble all the gun very loosely and put it in the electrolysis solution, electrolyte solution for another 24 hours. And then, when I pull it out, I'll be able to repeat this scrubbing process, sand the heck out of it, and then start the bluing process. So I want an electrode that will cover one of these metals that's going to be sacrificial. that will go from end, inside, all the way to the end, and up. So I can connect my battery cable, and the electrode will run the whole distance of the, the whole length of that barrel. So I'm just going to measure where it ends here, put a white mark on it, and then bend it. And I'll show you that process. Right now. Well, it took longer than I anticipated, but there you go. There's your bar, that should run the length of the potter. That'll make a new green. batch of solution. This is the last stage. Can't see it yet because I just mixed in the washing soda, but start time is going to be. Four thirty four PM and tomorrow we'll check it at four thirty four. I'll remove it from the solution when we'll be done with the electrolysis project.